The presidential car of the United States, nicknamed the Beast, is the president's official state car. President William McKinley was the first serving president to ride in a car, briefly riding in a Stanley Motor Carriage Company steam car on July 13, 1901. According to the United States Secret Service, it was customary for them to follow President Theodore Roosevelt's horse-drawn carriage on foot. But, with the popularity of the automobile, the Secret Service purchased a 1907 White Motor Company steam car to follow him. Because of his image as a rough-riding horseman, the president declined to ride in the vehicle. The Beast is the presidential limousine that ferries the US president and travels with him around the world. Beast is one of the world's most intimidating vehicles, an 18-foot tank with weapons. For security reasons, the limo's full capabilities are kept a closely guarded secret. But, a few intimate details have been disclosed. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the details that have been uncovered. So let's get started. Number 1. Weapons and Defense The Beast is rigged with Bond-style gadgets such as smoke screens and door handles that send a 120-volt electric shock to deter attackers. It is also said to be capable of laying down an oil slick that sends enemy vehicles spinning out of control. Pump-action shotguns, rocket-powered grenades, night vision equipment, and tear gas grenades are among the weapons said to be aboard. The body weighs between 8 and 10 tons and is made of 8-inch armor plating with armored floor plates to protect against potential bomb blasts. A 44 Magnum bullet can be stopped by the 5-inch thick windows. In the event of a chemical attack, the interior can be sealed, and the beast's tires can travel for miles, even if they're flat, but it won't be a quick escape. The beast, also known as Cadillac 1, can reach 60 miles per hour in 15 seconds. Number 2. There is more than one beast. There are at least two identical beasts with matching registration plates in every motorcade so attackers can't be 100% certain which vehicle contains the president and which is the decoy. During President Joe Biden's inauguration, seven beasts were deployed in the mother of all motorcades. Cadillac 1 is generally updated every few years with new gadgets and gizmos, so an estimated 16 to 20 old models are still on the road. The presidential beast is valued at $1.5 million, but General Motors is said to have spent $15 million on research and development for Donald Trump's 2018 beast. Of course, gasoline is extra and the costs add up because the beast only gets an estimated 4 miles per gallon. Number 3. The Beast Travels With A Fridge Full Of Blood In case of an emergency, the Beast carries a supply of blood that matches the President's blood type. It also carries its own oxygen supply, which can be piped directly into the hermetically sealed cabin if an attack occurs. The limo can seat up to seven people, ensuring that the President is never far from assistance. The President's military doctor is usually followed in one of three separate SUVs known as the control car. Number 4. Communications Because of the armored plating, almost no sound can enter the cabin. Outside sound is picked up by microphones on the outside and speakers on the inside. Additional communication equipment allows the beast to communicate with the motorcade specialized vehicles. In an emergency, advanced communications ensure that the US president has the ability to send the codes needed to launch nuclear weapons from within the beast. Number 5. Motorcade Size During a visit to Italy to discuss environmental issues with Pope Francis, President Biden was chastised for the size of his 85-car motorcade. To be fair, Italy's lockdown rules limited the number of passengers permitted in a single vehicle. The motorcade typically consists of 50 vehicles and 100 personnel, with the number fluctuating depending on the mission. Extra vehicles are sometimes added in new positions, and the president is not always inside the limo. The Secret Service hopes to thwart attackers by constantly changing the routine. The motorcade is a carefully planned out operation. The root car arrives minutes before the motorcade. It's a surveillance vehicle that provides intelligence and guidance to the motorcade. The pilot's car does the same thing, trailing the motorcade by a minute or even seconds. The sweepers, who are police on motorcycles and patrol cars, deploy in front of the motorcade to clear the way and block intersections and highway overpasses. The lead car, which is sometimes a Secret Service suburban or police car, serves as a guide and a buffer. The President's limousine, known as the Secure Package, is usually at the center of the motorcade. But that doesn't always mean the President is inside the beast. 
There are also limos that are used as decoys. Behind the package are a number of vehicles that may change locations. The ID car communicates with other agencies. The Roadrunner Mobile serves as a communications hub. And the Hazardous Materials Mitigation Unit is prepared to respond to chemical, biological, or nuclear attacks. The U.S. Secret Service Countermeasure Suburban, according to reports, can jam any remote explosives by sending out a wide range of radio frequencies that lock bomb activation signals through two antennas. It also has electronic warfare sensors that can detect the launch of an RPG or anti-missile tank. Three different SUVs follow then. The control car with the president's doctor is in the center. There are two other SUVs on either side with open rear view mirrors in case the occupants need to open fire quickly. The halfback SUV is ready to defend the beast, while the cat car SUV is ready to battle any insurgents. The motorcade also includes an ambulance and the remaining vehicles may transport additional secret service agents, military personnel and law enforcement. Number 6. The Presidential Motorcade Attracts Beast Spotters In 2017, a car appeared to be attempting to ram former President Trump's Beast in Missouri, speeding out of the woods just as the motorcade passed. Beast Spotters, yes, such people do exist, filmed the whole ordeal on their smartphones. But officials said the incident was simply the result of a car with faulty brakes. Number 7. Handling the Beast is a challenge, even for the Secret Service trained drivers. In one embarrassing incident, President Obama's beast became stuck as it exited the US Embassy in Dublin, Ireland. When the limo's underside hit the ramp, it made a loud bang. However, US officials later denied Obama was in the car, dismissing the stuck vehicle as a spare limo. Parking an 18-foot beast can also be a headache. In 2009, a driver found himself in an awkward situation at Downing Street, the Prime Minister's London residence. In front of the assembled media, the beast's three-point turn quickly became a five-point turn. It's no surprise then that special agents considered no motorcade to be the safest motorcade. They usually keep rides to 30 minutes or less. Anything more and the President can choose between the Marine One helicopter and the Air Force One jet. Number 8. It holds 7 passengers. The Beast is carrying at least 3 passengers. The driver, the President's lead Secret Service protective agent in the front passenger seat. And, of course, the President himself. However, four additional seats in the back are available. Three backward-facing bench seats and one seat next to the President for a guest. The President is separated from his guest by a folding desk. Surprisingly, the President's bench is made of a dark blue cloth rather than leather, although plenty of hide is on board. Shoulder belts that retract toward the center of the bench and buckle into the outboard corners are also included, which is the opposite of a standard rear seat car. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing content. Until the next video, take care.